Ladies and gents, welcome to this video. My name is Taylor Venture. Now for fun on this Saturday evening, I decided to rebuild the human dashboard. This probably would not be fun at all if I had video games in my life because that's just what video games do to you. They kill the level of dopamine that would come from something as simple as this because this is nowhere near as engaging, but that's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is actually to just talk about um, this human dashboard, the purpose of it, why it's uh, important, and why I'm starting to use it again after not using it for almost a year. So the human dashboard is ultimately something that will allow you to proactively understand when you're about to go into a state of not, you know, being at your best, not being in flow or approaching burnout. It's essentially just tracking the most important things that will allow you to get into deep work. So if you're struggling with deep work, this will help you. Okay, so how is it built? Very simple, it's Data Studio connected to a Google Sheet. There's a few things I'm tracking. These are what I consider the most important things that are, not all of them, but like 80% of the most important relative to what will allow you to get into deep work. So minutes meditated is pretty simple. How many minutes did you meditate today? I found for me, again, this is subjective to me, that if I don't meditate, it's very, it's, it's a more anxious and, and harder day to get into deep work. So that's an important uh, KPI for me. ACIM stands for Course in Miracles. It's basically like a daily prayer type thing as it gets you into an introspective state. It's beautiful. I also know that if I don't do this, it, it's, it's also a less uh, productive and less uh, happy day. One just means I did it. Zero means I didn't do it. Gym, one means I did it. Zero means I didn't do it. If I don't work out, if I don't maintain you know, consistent workout routine and I stop working out for a week, I'm going to expect to feel lethargic and more tired and less productive and very difficult to get into deep work for uh, extended periods of time. So that's important. Sleep hour. What time did I go to sleep? So Data Studio doesn't actually allow me to track the exact minute, but that doesn't matter. Did I go to sleep? Did I fall asleep at 10 p.m., 11 p.m., 12 p.m.? What hour did I fall asleep at? Aura Ring uh, tells me this. That's great. Uh, wake up hour. What time did I wake up? Just on the hour. Again, because it's going to fluctuate. I just want to know on the hour. If this fluctuates from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m., I know there's a serious problem. Like unless if it was unintentional that I wanted to start waking up at 10 a.m., that's a serious problem, uh, etc. So readiness score. This is also on the ordering weight. This is not related to deep work. I'm just trying to gain weight right now. And, and all the way, by the way, all this data is fake. It's just built, put in here. Happiness score one to 10. Work day one means that works. Zero means it doesn't. Again, this is all fake data. Okay, so this translates pretty simply. I want to know, this is like, you know, if I put last seven days, this percentage shows me relative to the previous period of the time frame selected, what percentage change there has been. Also on the weight, it's not a percentage change, it's an absolute number change, which is great. I want to know, I want to make sure my weight is going up each week. And so for me, this is important. This is basically an average right now. It's calculating an average weight for the date range between August 14th and August 20th. Um, and then it'll tell me the average, I believe it's the average increase, absolute change increase relative to the previous week. Sleep hour, is it going up? Is it going down? This one's less important. I debated getting rid of this. Happiness over meditation. I kind of want to see if um, there's a correlation between happiness increasing with meditation increasing. I imagine if I, because when I don't meditate and I don't do ACIM, I should put ACIM in this chart as well. My happiness score goes down and I know it at the end of the day that I was less happy and less stable and less like calm and I, I could just like feel it. So um, that, that'll be interesting. We'll see if that's important. And once I get more data, if it's worth keeping weight, I just want to see if that's going up and down with sleep hour, etc. Gym, this is just like the percentage within the time frame that I hit the gym. So uh, 86 percent of the days within this date range i hit the gym ultimately if i'm like 90 percent plus i'm happy that's probably where i kind of the benchmark is acam same thing okay so that's pretty straightforward it's pretty simple this took an hour and a half to build it's not hard i mean the hard thing is just <laughs> filling this out every day and consistently doing it um, that can be tricky but it's just like anything once you build a habit it's done so with that being said I highly recommend you build one subjective uh, to you and what you think is important. But again, here, here's what's important. The, the benefit of using this thing is that you can kind of begin to see why certain you're feeling certain things. It's almost like objectively understanding the subjective. So the subjective is hard to understand because you typically have no benchmarks you have no data on your emotions and these are kind of the most important things that can gauge that obviously there's so many other variables 
But for me, these are the variables that I can track and understand and easily know that this affects me. There's other variables like the, the, the relationship that I have, um, you know, the things going on in work, but I, I can't put that into a spreadsheet. And if I tried to, it'd be too ridiculous because, you know, how happy was I with my partner today? How happy was I with the people that I interacted with? Like, you get to a point where it's just like too micro and it doesn't, it's, it's, it's irrelevant and it won't be, uh, it won't be um, useful to you basically. So that's it. Please let me know your thoughts on this uh, video in the comment section below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button if you want to support the channel. Dear Lord, it's the only thing I ask of you. Thank you so much. Ladies and gents, once again, if you have questions, let me know. Ciao.